Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today we're gonna go over the Milani Ungilded Most Love Mattes Palette. So I swatched them all for you and I'm just gonna jump right into showing you all of the shades. So the first one is not so vanilla and it is just a creamy, slightly warm, all over the lid shade. It's also like that highlight shade. Next we have Bust a Mauve which is a light baby pink shade. We have Toast of the Town, which is a nice transition shade. It's a light warm brown. The next shade is Salty Caramel, and that one is a true transition shade, and it is a warm medium brown. So that is the whole first row, and now the second row. So next we have my Daily Latte, and that is like a light peachy color super pretty the next shade is smell the roses and that is a medium pink shade that's kind of desaturated with like a tiny bit of brown in it the next shade is sienna sunset and as you can tell that shade is just a nice bright sienna orange the next shade is don't raisin your voice and again it is a nice purpley plummy raisin color that's great for deepening up plum looks Next we have Umber the Sun, and as you can also guess, that is like a burnt umber shade. The next one is No Plum Intended, and that is a nice light plum. It's not too deep, it's more of a medium plum. The next one is Cinnamon Spice, and that one is a very warm cinnamon color. So it has, it's like red based. Not as red as Don't Raise In Your Voice, but there's still some red in it. And then the last one is Cocoa Bean, and that is a true deep chocolate brown. I feel like all of these shades were super, super buttery. When you're swatching with your fingers, sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell um, how buttery they are just because the oils on your fingers can kind of pick up and distribute the product differently than a brush would but I found them all to be creamy they were not patchy when I demoed them at all so we're gonna jump right into the demo of me trying these on I only tried a couple of shades but I just wanted a nice light neutral look to test out the wearability of the palette loved about this palette is that there was no talc in the formula as everybody knows I can't use talc because it irritates my eyes and I love that this is an all matte palette I don't own many all matte palettes and this one has such a perfect range of colors and if you look you could create a look going across the rows or even down the rows just to make it super simple for building an all matte look this is something that I would carry with me and then a highlighter so I could change the shades and have sparkle where I wanted but have all of my base mattes down like this is perfect it has a bunch of different transition shades for like everyday wear and then it has some fun colors like the oranges and the purples if you wanted to branch out a little bit but still kind of be in like the wearable range this obviously isn't a palette that has so many different colors in it for a ton of super, super creative looks. But this has like all of your basics that you could need and they go on so creamy and smooth. I didn't have one area of shrinking or patchiness and I just thought this was a really solid palette. I'm pretty sure it was $19.99 and I got it on the Milani website itself. I'll see if it's linked anywhere else. But this was a new palette on the website so I wanted to try it out for you guys. But yeah, I think this is a really good affordable option and it comes with a mirror which is so great not a lot of palettes are doing that these days they're kind of phasing them out but i think they're so helpful because i don't want to always travel with an additional mirror so yeah i think it's great for the price point and there is my review for the palette so i'm alternating between high-end beauty and more affordable beauty i did a poll here on my channel and we got a uh, overwhelming majority of you wanted either drugstore or a mix of both so we are going to do the mix of both and both 
a mix of both. So if you had your eyes on this palette, I think it's definitely worth it. I really love the Gilded and Ungilded line from Milani. I think they're such solid colors and formulas at a, such an affordable price point. Definitely great if you're building your kit or even if you're new to makeup. I feel like if you're more advanced or you're a pro, this is something that you already have a billion of. But if you don't have a huge collection like me, I think this is perfect. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and tell me if you're gonna pick up this palette because I am kind of obsessed with it. Between this and my Patrick Ta, I'm set on eyeshadows for a long time. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.